Okay, let me try and explain what's going on here. I've got a Briggs and Stratton lawnmower motor and uh, I've totally stripped it. Uh, we've taken the cams out, the camshaft and the cam followers. The um, valves are still in there uh, and they seal off the head so when we put the head back on which I've done there well, I should really pop it off shouldn't I but uh, I don't know anyway that's the, the, the four stroke lawnmower with nothing on it no electrics no uh, valve followers and stems the only thing it's got is a closed off head We've got the spark plug here that's going to be where I put my um, timing valve in, right? And we're going to run a cam off either this shaft or this shaft to have uh, an up down motion to uh, throw a lever to have a three way valve and have steam in, steam out from the one hole. So it's really simplified the mechanics of it. And this is our. This, this goes on the end here of the shaft and what I'm trying to do here is fit that to the smart drive magnetic hub and I will put the smart drive magnetic hub on the end of the crankshaft and it will spin with all the magnets inside it's got all these magnets in here right and it will spin those magnets on the end of the um, on the end of the four stroke motor uh, from there we've got electrics uh, there's the coils there but that's a, an old set I don't know where I put the new one they're here somewhere it's here somewhere somewhere put away precisely where you know where to find it but I can't find it I don't know if that matters that much at the moment. Ah, oh, oh, there it is under there. I knew I'd put it somewhere where I could find it. Here we go. And this, that will be the electronics for it. And it will uh, sit on a flange outside the air tube. Um, this uh, a coil set will put out a three phase three phase uh, AC voltage will run it through uh, a rectifier and get it to DC I'm pretty sure uh, it'll get us uh, what would you say it'll get us a decent voltage I had it as a wind turbine and uh, it was running at less than say 100 rpm uh, and it was producing 30 volts that's AC um, but yeah, it should be okay. This thing, you know, is 240 volts AC when it's running in your washing machine. And it's all, you know, got magnets and shit, so it should be pretty damn good. Uh, anyway, we'll just put that up on a bracket, mount everything up nice and solid, and hopefully next video we'll be showing you a working steam engine, or maybe it'll be on air. Okay, wait for now.